one, take one, action. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. I walk the streets with God in my heart. Mind on the rapture. Stress and need in direction. I'm checking on the pastor. Gangs on every block, corrupt the cops, still harass us. People losing faith, can't escape the devil trapture. The youth is brainwashed, just like they serve a different master. Embrace some revelations, lead them right into disasters. World breaking, earthquake and vibration. Crime rate is outrageous. Running out of patience, needing salvation. Dear Lord, tell me what I need to do. These people I'm speaking to act like they ain't needing you. Please give them the guidance. The blind isn't seeing you. They don't understand what the evil do. We seek the truth to try to bring the light out the door. Darkness. They say crime pays, what did it cost you? We living in hell, heavenly father. Swimming in sin, I keep my head above water. The preacher on the street said, get your house in order. Change your mind up. Zeke is an accelerated period of time where um, the city is corrupt. You know, you have a lot of corrupt cops. You have um, the forces from the gang members trying to take over the city, right? Um, these are my corrupt cops here, right? <laughs> and basically what they, I, I can't tell you all the details of what they're doing, but I want you to watch the movie, but they had some things where they kind of in cahoots with some of the local gang members, right? There's enough of that as far as giving that secret away. But basically, um, Zeke is a, a mixture of the Book of Eli versus what? What's another one? Oh. Uh, Almost, uh, let's see, Armageddon is apocalyptic type movie. Well, that's, so. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So you have some things. What I, what I did is I took Zeke out of the book of Ezekiel, and there was some prophetic um, events that took place. So what I'm trying to do is to capture some of those things taking place um, and showing kind of like the, the city uh, being destroyed in a sense. So you just got to watch from there. <laughs> Other than that, I have a fine crew. I have a big crew. And a big um, group of folks that are supporting. Um, great cast and great crew. Great cast. Yeah. Yep. Um, so most of what I write, as I believe, I'm a, I, I do inspiration type uh, films. I do horror with that thing also. But the inspiration came from visions that I was getting and things that I would just think about over a period of time. I wanted to do something that was Bible based. So I used the book of Ezekiel and some of the elements out of that to transform the movie. But I didn't base it all off of Ezekiel. I used Revelations and some of those as well. Hey, 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 action! Hey, that's a surprise. Change your mind up. My cross needs nothing to you. Shoot us to heaven! No! Up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. Change your mind up before your time's up. God's coming on my real people rise up. I walk the streets with God. I'm Officer Watkins. Uh, of course, my real name is Walter. No, I'm sorry. That's right, Officer Walters. Well, see, I even said it wrong. That's so it's Officer. I'm Officer Walters, and you are Officer Daniels. 
And this is my partner. And uh, we're both, yeah, um, corrupt. We're both corrupt. That's right. <laughs> it's I'm in a corrupt. nutshell. Yeah. He's not, but he's going to be. I'm going to be. Yeah. He so, makes me corrupt. Yeah. That's pretty you much know? it. I'm the yeah. senior officer. And uh, he learns a few things that, that we don't like. These homeless people, we don't mess with there. Yeah. They're not number one on the packing order. So. Um, yeah. That's but it, it's like, you know, it's like... Uh, Kazar was talking about the film, so it's a it's a sci-fi. It's almost like a sci-fi apocalyptic uh, movie, and of course, it comes from from the book of Ezekiel. Uh, very well written script, uh, and uh, it does have a great cast, and of course, multiple scenes. Uh, and you'll see as the movie goes along, uh, scenes where you can see where he is corrupt police officer and how I become corrupt. And basically, don't want to give too much of it away. But it, it's going to be. Uh, I'm a novelty. It's going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be a phenomenal production. Uh, I mean, today's just day one, so uh, we got a lot of great stuff coming up, and it's just something when it comes out that you shouldn't miss. I'm Chris Kennedy. That's my real name. And I am. And I am Richard Siegelman. And I am a retired police officer. So uh, retired 16 years ago away. So this is kind of like uh, I'm back in character again. Man in building. Mm -hmm. You're basically one of those uh, people that have lived in the neighborhood for a long time. So you're concerned you about the neighborhood, <laughs> and so you're you want to rebuild. Right. right. So you're, you're just going to be helping clean up, that type of thing. You know what I mean? And, 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 trying to help the community right. back. I trying to help the community back. So that's 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 the role that you're going to play. We need somebody else to play that role with you. Um, Listen up, everyone. What about Listen up. No, no, no. Not, not, oh, not, the box, not behind. Okay. Yeah, so when you have, if, if you're an extra, right, we have a lot of special effects that we're going to be doing at different times. Maybe not in this scene. But in later scenes, we're going to have a helicopter falling. We're going to have to be running. You know, that kind of thing. Um, if you're inside of the restaurant, the floor is going to open up. So you got to react to it. But you're not going to see that. So when we're filming it, you got to react to it. So that we can tie it all together. All right? Just want to say that. I'm going to show you the location. And then you're going to imagine where it is. And then you're going to react to it. Uh, right now I'm getting rigged up for one of the cameras. Um, I'm, I'm acting as first AD and camera one. Am I camera one? You're the man, camera I, one. I guess I'm camera one. <laughs> you are camera, camera one. I am camera one. All right. Uh, you got to hold it come on. Battery charge. Oh, I'm gonna be custom for it. So. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I chose the battery last night. No, I chose yeah. the battery up until this morning. But how many batteries? Oh, I got an extra one. You got an extra one? Fine. Um, can you throw yours on there? Do I have to? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got somewhere we can. We got somewhere we charge. I have to find somewhere. Where's I, 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 I have a portable uh, generator. Somebody can fucking sing the songs or batteries. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, if nothing's so I can fucking, we got the adapter for like, inside the car. Yeah, I can, I can plug, plug it in the car. Plug it in the car and charge it. Let me get the inverter. All right, so let's switch this battery out. All right. Well, actually, I just took it off the charger this morning. If you need this, you don't need it, but you don't have to, you don't want to. No. If you got this other thing right here, that I'll take it. Yes. Um, where's the guy that... I don't know if I said that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Where's the guy that I just saw? Where's the guy that I just saw with the... Uh, with the cane. Where did oh, he go? Right, hold on. Was he just hey, this guy. So. Yeah, so this is uh basically this is a rig that's gonna allow me to uh to put the the, the Ursa on 
so that I can get some nice steady cam shots, get some nice movement shots, make it look real desolate and purged looking. <laughs> so, and I don't know where this goes, but I hope it's not going to be in my face the whole time because this is going to be irritating. We're going to have to figure out <laughs> where this is going. Huh? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not going with this one. So, yeah, we don't need this. It's public. Public back. I got one to charge. I got a charge. Go ahead. Well, don't take that off because I'm using this to kind of keep keep me stuff. Stephanie, because you're gonna be portraying one of the only Okay, sorry. Yeah, I got We didn't know that. That's okay. I got you. All right. So I'm gonna bring that big blanket back out that I gave you the first time, and you're gonna put it around you. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna give you. Do she need a scarf too? Just yeah, just kind just of warm. Whatever, yeah, because yeah. I get I bought the blanket. I gave her this already. Okay. I can give her a scarf. Okay. For a neck because she's cold. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and, and we're not going we're not going to call you out till we absolutely need. Right. But we just, but we just want to know what your character. Is. Yeah, we want to establish. And then, did you sign a release? Okay, sign the table. Okay. All right. So got her. She's got the she's got the blanket and earmuffs. So she should be good. And we're over here making her look homeless. She's a pretty lady, so we're just making her look a little more grimy. I'm out of the way. So we're making her look grimy and nice and dirty. I'm going to give you a little something here. Here, look. I feel like it's supposed to just be more like tattered. So, yeah, like, you don't want to put leaf in your hair. 
Just don't show okay. your nails. I know, right? So you, you gotta do what's your name? Huh? Tell a lady about. Could you tell a lady about the little thing that she got right there? It fell in the trash can. It's in the can. What's that? What's that? So this will be our starting point. Um, just wait until we see action. See action. And um, don't hit anyone. Don't hit, the, don't hit anybody. <laughs> Um, you can you can make gestures, that kind of thing. Yeah. Don't smile. All right. yeah. Look real mean. Um, yeah, because you know the yeah, trying to establish control of, of the streets. We're walking through it, Joe. Okay. So we just, yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. See one, take one, action. First oh, okay. Just go with, with okay. So right. you say, hey, I like that necklace. Okay, and then yeah. I just Should say, somebody touching. help me. Right. Uh, all right. right. All right. Yeah, I got it. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I'm just getting okay. lost. Oh, you know what you're doing? You can add a little bit. Okay. Okay. So just instead of going straight into okay. the neck, notice uh -huh. in the neck. I don't know why. Yeah. Sylvia Lowers and I'm playing Sue, Homeless Woman 1, and my outfit at the moment is just an old coat with a sweatshirt and a and a shirt that was is my husband's actually, and his shoes, and these are my pants that have got like holes in and whatever else, and I'm just doing some scenes today for Zeke. So, transparency. I was gonna, um, she's gonna say all of her lines and that's when I say, should I want me to give you a necklace before I give you something to scream about? And then that's when she's gonna say, my cross means nothing to me. They'll tap me and say the police is there and then. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm on the um, set right now for CP Awakening. My name is Seneca Lee, also known as Seneca the Misfit. I play Mike, one of the gang members in the film. And I also have the theme song I'm on the film called The Awakening. Uh, it's a part of the movie, so yeah, I do the music, and I'm happy to say that, yeah, that uh, I think y'all are pleased when y'all hear the song. So, the entire script, uh, actually sitting at the reading with the cast, getting a feel for what the film is about, uh, the characters, the revelation story, um, and just reading it and seeing what was going on in the film, I was like, oh my goodness, this, it's, it's very visual, so I figured that I could try to match that from the film with the music and be able to paint the picture of the film also with the song so that it's all consistent. So it was total inspiration from the script. Uh, hip hop, so you talking just 
drum beats, uh, different variations, different sounds. Uh, since the movie's about revelation and you have trumpets blowing, I made sure to add the elements of the trumpets in the song, uh, talking about the end of times. So then I made it more of a gospel feel as well, especially like on the hook, something triumphant to explain, to express Zeke and him coming, the awakening. So when you hear the hook of the song and the, the pounding of it, that's just like, that's like an analogy for, for Zeke just coming in the presence of a time when everybody's uh, corrupted and under a lot of stress and not knowing what's going on. So the song paints that picture. Yeah, I, I wanted the song to embody, I just wanted it to embody the character Zeke and everything that he stands for and everything he represents. And this is him right here. So this was my inspiration for the film, you know? And luckily Kazar was a, allowed me that, uh, that, 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 you know, that. It's, it's, it's not really light skin, it's the, it's the glow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, the, the, it's the, the, yeah, the aura, the aura. The glow. Yeah, and I captured the song. Captured the Z glow in the song. So when you actually hear it, you can actually visualize the glow as well. That's all it was. I wanted to actually just have a song that will paint the picture of the character Zeke in other film as, as a whole. And so when you hear the song, you think back to the scenes of the movie. The film. So actual soundtrack theme song. Hey, how you doing? My name is Lion Beckwith, and I am playing the character Zeke in the movie Zeke the Awakening. Um, very excited to be here. This is super Super awesome uh, cast crew working with Kazar directing. I worked with him a couple of things, so he's—I mean—he's a jack of all trades. So it's, it's definitely an honor being here and everybody that's putting in. I mean, this is this is like this is artwork. It's so many brush strokes, colors, and everything coming together to make a masterpiece. So very happy to be here, and I can't wait for you guys to see the movie Zeke the Awakening. Oh, no, you take your neck just came here. out of so when, you, when you're approaching. You can, this is where you can add the <laughs> Now, now, I'm in now. my time. So, 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 so I want you to notice it first. Okay. So when you come up, I like that necklace, right? When, when, so, so yeah, when, when you come drop, you're going to be like, I like that necklace, right? And you just, you kind of, kind of like you don't hear. And then I want you to come in. When, once he comes in, you guys need to step in. Okay, so what size are you on? I'm on the left. I'm okay, right, so, right, so, right. so let's oh, walk into you. coming right here? Yeah. Hey, can I can I fling the cart? Do you want me to kind of move past that though? Grab whatever and then. So so at, at this at this point you you just yeah. play like you're trying to protect your necklace. Okay, yeah. so this is where you guys come in. So if I'm you, where where you at? Oh yeah, on the right. Okay. You on the right? Yeah. Please. Okay, you on the left. Yeah. So listen, this is this is what you call being camera conscious. Okay, know where the camera is. The camera should never see your back. Okay. So if you're coming up lead, mm -hmm. if you're coming up. I want you to be like, I like that necklace. Mm -hmm. If the camera's here and here, when you switch, you should come here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now. Okay. Did I? But that did I hurt you? No. Okay. But so that listen, is listen, true. Like that. Listen, turning. listen. Yeah. Right. So That's I like true. that. But then when you do it, she's. I've worked with her before. She's yeah. a great actress. She's going to move in. Okay. Guys. Hey, real listen. quick. Yeah. Listen. When 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 he when when he does this. Okay, at this point, you're helping him, okay? So it's, be serious, okay? It's real, you know what I mean? So when, when he comes in, grab a part of her. Grab part of her and hold her arm because she's trying to camera conscious. Okay. Keep in mind where the camera is. So you're here and the camera's there. Make sure you know where it is and snatch. Everybody should be facing the camera at that point, okay? Make sure that you react because you're in film. So, so you don't okay, well, I, won't, I, won't, I won't drop you. Just one. Uh, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. Hey, I'm up the girl. As soon as he grabs, yeah, as soon as he grabs, yeah, don't, don't drop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As, soon as, <laughs> soon as soon as you grab, you guys step in and grab an arm, okay? Because y'all want to stop her from protecting her neck. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? But when you're doing it, listen, let me tell you something. Come here, come here, real quick. If I'm grabbing your arm, I can make it move rough. But did you feel me doing anything? No, first of all, I get to go over the two steps. You see what I'm saying? All right, ready? Y'all walk it through? Okay, can I just ask? Can I just ask one question? Now, my first one is somebody. Help me, help me, please. That's before my necklace, though, isn't it? Am I still doing that line? Or is it now the necklace? He's going to say, no. So just go with it. When he says, I like that necklace. Yeah. You know what I mean? Say that. 
ask okay. you, ask you what, talk, talk about it. Um, get away from me, you little thugs. Okay. Right? Yeah. Add to it. You're not giving it. Right? I, yeah. You're not giving it. I'll do everything you're saying, but add to it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which uh, annoys you all a little bit. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> he owes you off. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll just do whatever comes out of my mouth. Can I mean, whatever that is. Instead of doing the whole I mean, because I can't. Can yeah. I'll give you something really scream about. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like I like that. Yeah, yeah, that when you face whatever it comes out with you is fine. We're going to do that in okay. two parts. Okay. I'm going to look for the other hand. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much uh, I'm gonna hit uh record. Huh? So I'm gonna make sure this one is on. Make sure the one is on, make sure that the channel on and record. So I'm going to you. I like to see How you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, you got two I know, I'm going to too. Like, so, so you just need to record it. You, you yeah. like OG in the name. You know what I'm saying? You've been, you been, you been in that life, oh, but now you, you know what I mean? Try to get to the right. And then, you know what I'm saying? So you, you basically can connect. I play a character named Kui, and I'm basically the only female gang member. And I go hard. I just came to this country not too long ago, and I've been living in the streets, and I've been learning things from these guys, and they're like my bros. And that's where the character basically came from. So yeah, I don't know. Same as more. That's it. That's it. That's it. Did it. So, it hang over? Control this. Let me zip it. Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. The mic area is in this direction. Left. Right. Okay. Even when you're coming in, you're grabbing right here. Okay. This is the thing. Let's her do what she's going to make. It looks like a They walk off. Take a picture. Take a picture. Well, I'm getting this lady to sign your way for the picture. So that it will be easy to so we thank her for signing the form. We have to come up with a shorter form, like name number. Yes, I agree to the waiver. How about that?